farmers haven't seen a bottleneck like this since the 1970s, contrary to what the, the minister is saying. Grain is vital to Canadians' economy. We must have an efficient, reliable grain transport system. The current law is not protecting the interests of our producers. We need better rail service laws with enforceable performance standards, accountability and penalties. Will the Minister of Transport finally agree to meet with the producers and establish the long-awaited regulations them, on performance? The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Well, Mr. Speaker, we've been doing just that as a government. The Minister of Transport and I continue to meet with the grain farmers, oilseed producers across Western Canada that are most affected by this. We continue to work with the grain companies and the railways to uh, work through the holistic uh, situation that needs to be put in play to make sure that everybody has access to good rail freight. The cold weather can't last forever, Mr. Speaker. This global warming has to stop sometime. And when that does break, trains will get back to the length they need to be, and there'll be more grain moved to that uh, port authority and moved off to countries around the world.